we are jumping right into Lakeside on Preston. Uh, this is an awesome community over here off of Preston Road. Uh, kind of the same thing as like a Shoal Creek, those other Plano neighborhoods I just toured, the Willowbin Lakes and those areas. Uh, go check that out. Uh, those were other Plano, Texas neighborhoods. Uh, this one's just gonna be one big neighborhood. Uh, the other one I just toured of the, over Plano, Texas, that's like $1 million to $3 million homes. Uh, that one has like a bunch of different subdivisions, but this one uh, has like a bigger price range. Uh, they do have some prices on the low end at like 800, 900,000, and then they got some at the high end at almost 3 million in here. This is Lakeside on Preston. The homes in here are a little bit older, dating back to like early 1990s. Uh, so they're gonna be a lot of that brick and stone feel, but uh, the super cool thing about the Plano neighborhoods is just all the, uh, all the trees and stuff. All these houses look really cool. Most of these houses in here are gonna be a custom build. That's why all the houses kind of look different. Uh, some of them are gonna have that brick look. A couple of them have that stucco uh, finish. And then they have current list in here as well. Uh, the current list are four bed, four bath, 4,218 square feet going for $889,000. Oh, this is an awesome house right here. Wow. Yeah, just every single one looks so different. And then they have another list in here, five beds, six bath, 8,138 square feet going for 2.67 million. And then they had one sell in here uh, early October. Um, they've had a couple more sales in here, but just for example, they had one sell in here for 1.6 million, five bed, five bath. Um, about 246 per square foot on that one. I've been looking at some of the prices in here. It seems like it's ranging at like that low 240 per square foot up to like a little over 300 per square foot. Here's the home right here that is currently listed at 2.7 million. Just past that, so showing you guys what that kind of looks like. Uh, not a whole bunch of walking trails in here. They do have like that little, uh, lake. They, they call it a lake, but um, it's more of like just like a river that kind of runs across. Uh, and it has like um, some walking trails by it, but nothing like a master plan community. Whoa. Nice little Lamborghini Urus. We're in good company here, guys. I mean, the houses in here are awesome. Uh, this is in this area, uh, this neighborhood, Shoal Creek, the Willowbend Estates, the Enclave at Willowbend, all those neighborhoods all these neighborhoods are kind of right by and sectioned off of each other right off the Preston Road. Any of these Plano neighborhoods that I've recently toured, they're all going to be right by the tollway. They're all going to be super, uh, super close to like Legacy West in that area. You're like 10 minutes away from Legacy West, 15 minutes away from Grandscape Shopping, about 20 miles away from downtown Dallas, which isn't too bad. You're only a couple uh, lights over from the tollway uh, entrance as well, so pretty easy to get onto. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite neighborhood, older neighborhoods I've toured uh, in the Plano area. I've been through a lot of neighborhoods um, over in Plano. I haven't done a lot of videos. I've just been around to a bunch of neighborhoods. Um, and like I said, Plano's a lot older, so like the uh, the houses in here um, are just gonna have that older feel and look to them. But that's gonna lead to like a lot more privacy for you. And then the next video I'm gonna have come out is gonna be Deerfield and that's lower end uh, homes. They still have some million dollar homes in there, uh, but they do have a lower lower price range and that neighborhood's cool because it does like a cool Christmas light show. Let me know down in the comments what other neighborhoods you want me to go see. Text me if you're interested in this neighborhood. Text me Lakeside uh, to my number if you wanna see uh, more options available in this area or homes like this. Uh, but if your price range is uh, in between like the high eights, uh, let's just round it to a million. If, you're, if your price range from like a million to three million uh, and you're looking in the Plano area, this is another neighborhood uh, that might be a good location, good area for you. This does go to Plano ISD. And uh, compared to those other higher end neighborhoods I toured, hold on guys, let's just take a moment right here. Let's just take a moment. Do you see what I'm looking at? This house got a white Bentley and a black Bentley parked out. If that's not a flex, I literally don't know what is. Like, 
look at me on the corner. That's like the main entrance. So every every person that comes by is looking at that. What a flex. Um, what was I talking about? So compared to the other neighborhoods I was gonna tour, uh, those HOA dues were well over $2,000 and this one's sitting a little under 2,000. Um, so a little bit cheaper on the HOA due side, but not by a lot, so. Yeah, maybe you have a bigger size family and everything and uh, are looking for something with at least like three to four car garages. Um, a lot of these houses are gonna have a huge floor plans. Uh, not gonna be a lot of one stories in here. Uh, mostly it's gonna be two story homes. And uh, really big. That guy was just staring at the GoPro. And sometimes people look at the GoPro like they've never seen a camera on a car before. I don't know. Wow, that is an awesome house. And some of these houses have gated entryways into their driveway. It seems like most do. This area is also close to like the Cowboys headquarters and uh, Cowboys fit in that area and by the star uh, which is like the huge Cowboys facility and uh, we're all like the uh, nightclubs are restaurants in that area that's just down the tollway that's like 15 minutes away as well so that's close and everything that you want to go to like whether it be Frisco and Plano um, down in Dallas Highland Park this is a really good central area and that's why these homes are um, not only are they really grand homes and awesome homes but they're just also in like a really good location. Wow, the neighbors around here got some crazy cars. Okay, this is the second Urus I'm seeing now. And this one's bright yellow. Dude, this is, man. This is crazy. Not only, not only are you getting like a little uh, house tour, neighborhood tour, but you're also getting a nice little car tour. I, I can't believe that's the second year as I've seen in a neighbor that's, in the same neighbor. That's, I mean, come on guys. You know, I don't even see those driving around. They got some ballers living in here, yo. Let me go take you by the, uh, I'm gonna go a couple more streets right now and then let me take you over to where the uh, shopping area is right along here. They got like really good restaurants, uh, little gyms and that type of stuff. So if you need to like um, get out and go to an area, like this isn't like a Legacy West or anything like that, but it is like a place where they have like nice breakfast, um, brunch, um, and just like a shopping center of stuff, furniture store, and like a strip mall look. Um, area. So let me take you by that to show you what the shopping really, really close to here, like within walking distance. And then, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this video, but uh, let me go show you what the shopping looks like. Oh, you're good. I'm walking the dogs. Hey, there's some people for you. For the person that was commenting, uh, where are all the people in the neighborhoods? There you go, there were some people. And then 
yeah, so this neighborhood's kind of split in two uh, with this like lake uh, that they call kind of going down the uh, middle of it. And then it's got that walking trail that just goes all around it, uh, which is nice. Like if you want to go walk the dogs, kind of like the, how those people were doing. Okay, now let's just head back up this way. I might be all rearranged right now, but maybe I'm going the right way. Nope, we're good. All right, so this is the way I entered. All right, and then up on this left side, like I said, literally within walking distance is gonna be uh, a bunch of these. So they have a boardroom salon, Kenny's Burger Joint, the Outlook Wind Haven. Starbucks is right here as well. Um, but yeah, this is what the uh, shopping center area looks like. I'm um, not really shopping center to like walk around uh, and do stuff. It's more of like you're kind of going for a purpose. Um, but they have a lot of like they got a Weir's furniture store. More stuff back over there. And then they, uh, like I said, they have the Starbucks. And then they have Breadwinners, which is a really good brunch place. So go check that out. If you're in town, if you're coming in town to uh, the Dallas area or whatever. Um, or anything or have or living here now go check out breadwinners it's a really good place to uh, go out and eat brunch or lunch whatever you're into man um that's gonna end it for this video appreciate you guys like i said text lakeside uh to my phone number or email me contact me i got my link tree down below all all within the uh, description of this video i appreciate you guys watching peace take it easy Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert Team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.